So what plays in your headphones? Uh, I don't have headphones. Um, I'm very, very old school. I, I think the last thing I probably had musically was a disc man many, many years ago. If you weren't on the sidelines coaching FC Cincinnati or, or even in the soccer world, what would you be doing right now? Good question, because all I've ever known is, is the sport. You definitely don't have any off days now. Honestly, it was nice this morning, just relaxing for an hour. Yeah. Makes you appreciate the, the brief time you get, and makes you appreciate it a lot. No, I'm sure. I'm, I'm fortunate, I guess, because I genuinely do love oh, awesome. what I do. And I lay there by the pool for an hour, but I was either reading or on my phone, mm -hmm. working while I was flying there for an hour. So I wasn't really <laughs> taking any time off. No, no, it's always fun. I love what you do, and you never have to work a day in your life, Coach. Yeah, very, very, <laughs> very, very true. Um, before the season started, I actually talked to um, Julie Stewart Bank. She worked for ESPN, and she she had talked to you. She actually gave me that idea, um, and she's like, "You have a coach who talks to you." During, she's like, "You don't get that all the time." What what makes you or, or you feel comfortable doing that with us? Like, there. Because I don't really think that. Uh what we do is rocket science. Mm -hmm. I think we have a direct and deliberate plan of action in terms of how we do things. Um, but what we do is so live. Yeah. And so I have no problem being transparent before the game, half time, because we have to evolve all the time. And so mm -hmm. I feel like the information we share is it's definitely not common knowledge, of course, mm -hmm. but it's so live that once we've shared it, I've moved on to the next bit of information I have to get anyways. Mm -hmm. so.